Hey guys, today I'm reviewing Kingsman The Secret Service. I'm going to tell you why you should check it out. One, and the most important reason is, it's a lot of fun. From the moment I sat down to the moment it was over, I was enjoying the movie thoroughly. I was smiling, I was laughing, I was cheering. And it was great. Two, the acting was outstanding. I'm not going to say it's Oscar level performance, but as far as the popcorn flick goes, you're not going to get any better than this. It's definitely not Transformers Age of Crap, okay? It's more on the par with, I don't know, an, a Marvel movie, which kind of fits because Matthew Vaughn, even though he's in a Marvel movie, he did X-Men First Class, and it's in that same vein. So if you've seen that, or you've seen Kick-Ass, which he also did, you're going to get that overall feel and the acting level for this movie. Two, the action worked really well in this movie. It was not shaky cam, which is the biggest issue we have in modern action movies. And basically, if you don't know shaking cam, I'm going to give you a description of it right here, okay? Whoa, there's so much action happening. I can't... Oh, man, you see that? Oh, I must have just fought three guys right now. Oh, man. It wasn't like that. Thank God. Now, there was some shaky cam in the movie, but it showed you everything clean enough to where it wasn't shaky cam, per se. I am super happy I saw this movie just with the effect of the action. And that's not even including our third and fourth reasons. Three, the comedy was really, really funny, okay? I laughed a lot at this movie, and especially in an action movie, it's hard to walk that fine line between you're going too kind of cheesy or corny, and you're taking away from the action, which is what this movie is, first and foremost, as an action movie. And it worked really, really well. I wouldn't even call it so much as an action movie as much as I would call it just its own thing. It's definitely a kind of a spoof on the 60s, uh, Bond movies for sure. That is the biggest kind of outline. Anything you watch, you'll see that. That's what they're going for. And it really works, okay? The villain, Richmond Valentine, is such a total Bond villain, okay? Um, his lisp is really, really funny. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson plays it perfectly. There was actually a point where I forgot it was Samuel L. Jackson, which is the goal for any actor in a movie is for you to forget who that person is. And it's especially hard when you have a person like Samuel L. Jackson, who's Instantly identifiable. You're still here? Oh, I could probably take number four then. Basically, number four is, might be in the most important part, is how well a story holds itself together and doesn't need anything else afterwards, but leaves you wanting more. This movie did just that for me. I went in and I was super happy throughout the whole movie. I laughed. I thought it was awesome. I thought the action was great. I thought the actors were really good in it. And yeah, at the end, I want another 20 minutes to half an hour. I want another movie. I want to see the sequel. I want to see the third one. I want to see all six of these movies, however they make. I want to see Lancelot, and I want to see Eggsy. I want to see them go on adventures with Merlin. It's literally like, I want to see the next villain. This girl in this movie, uh, the henchman to Valentine, she had freaking, like, not robot legs, but, like, her legs were gone, and instead she had these metal legs that had a blade that was just cutting people up. It was awesome. There was heads exploding. There was uh, a giant fight in a church set to the backdrop of Freebird's guitar solo. Literally, like, my head was like... <clears throat> it was awesome, okay? You should totally check this movie out. If you're still here, you guys, I'm trying to... You want, you want, an, you want to score out of 10? Out of 10? 8.5. Okay, I mean... It's about 8.5 points better than uh, my You're Still Here joke, so, yeah. It's got that going for it. If I were to give it a prediction for the year, I believe it'll be in the top 20 movies of the year. I don't think there's really much doubt in that for my, in my personal, like, rankings. Um, if I were to guess where, it's in the 15 to 5 range, depending on how good this year is for movies. There's a lot of big movies coming out this year. I feel like it's going to be a really good year for movies. We're finally out of jamming movies, like, shit season, so... We're going to be starting to see every week good movies. The last time I had this much fun in the movie was John Wick, and I love John Wick. That was my top three last year. But we have Avengers still, we have Jurassic World, and we have fucking Star Wars! Finally! I'm really hoping that's going to be in the top three. It's top one. JJ, I believe in you. We got this, Star Wars. If you like the video, you can click the like button. I think it's right here. Here? I think it's right here. I don't fucking know. And then the subscribe button would be right here, this here, so it's there's somewhere, you can read them, you've been on YouTube before, you know what you're doing, I don't know why I'm trying to give you a bunch of babba jabbing stuff, I mean, the like, the subscribe button, they're underneath me, the comment section's underneath me, you've seen it, comment, let me know what you thought about it, I want to argue which scene is the best, I'm freaking positive it's the Freebird fight sequence in the church, that was awesome, awesome!
the other cool scenes, I mean, there's too many to choose from. If you didn't like the ending, if it was fairly controversial, the, the way the joke on the ending was, tell me about it. We can talk about that down there. If you got any other movies you want me to review, if you really want me to rev review Fifty Shades of Grey, I'll do it for you guys. I'll go sit through that and do a full review of it. I'll watch it three times and get like all my information correct. And you guys can tell me I'm wrong or that I'm right. And we'll get into a fist fight on the internet. And all that fun stuff. Please like, please subscribe, comment down below. High five. And I'll talk to you guys later this week. Bye.